Aaron. My name is Pierce. I'm from Lithuania. I'm 11 years old and I need help with my ollies. I just can't seem to like slide it. My pop is kind of good. So I'm going to show you my attempts. Hey Pierce, thanks a lot for sending your video. It's really incredible that you're sending it all the way from Lithuania. I just got to say that it really blows me away to see all of the different videos from the different countries. Cool, so now that we're done with that, let's check out your ollies. So these are my attempts. I hope you will help me. Bye. The second one in there was not too bad at all. Let's check out this drag up. Look at that. That is almost high enough to get onto a curb. Maybe just barely not high enough. But overall, this is really great, man. You're getting all four wheels up into the air. You're doing a really good job. We can work on getting them higher, but that's about it. But I do want you to recognize how well you are doing the ollie right now. Sometimes people are like, I need so much help with my ollie. Then I see it and they're, they're alling just fine or kickflip or any trick like that. So anyways, if somebody's telling you you're not doing it, you definitely are. All four wheels are up in the air. You're doing an ollie. That's all there is to it. Cool. So check out this foot position. This is what you're doing on the ollie. You are turning the sole of your front foot a 90 degree angle and then you're dragging it up the board. So that is exactly what you're doing. You're doing a good job of that. But now I'm going to help you to give you little tips and pointers to help get that higher. So you can get that higher with the foot position right there, just like I showed you. Um, you want to drag your front foot up and just jump as high as you can. And then also, as soon as you start to reach the peak of your ollie, you want to push your front foot forward. Obviously, as soon as you start dragging your front foot up, you must bring your back foot up as well to compensate in bringing those both up. But now here's the trick. Move your front foot back further on the board so you have more room on the board to drag your feet up the grip tape. That is going to help you because with more room to drag your feet up the board on the grip tape, that's more room to slide, more room to move your foot up the board, more lift, and then once you reach the peak of your ollie, you can push your front foot forward while bringing your back foot up, level the board out in the air, and you've just done a much higher ollie which is awesome. So that's the big tip and secret for you for the day. And then once you're done with that, practice it moving and then start taking it over obstacles. Obviously, you're going to start out very small, maybe like a broom handle or a hose, or even just start out with a crack at first. And then as you go over objects, make them bigger and bigger and bigger, and then just progress from there. It's a great time. Cool, so for any of you guys looking to master skateboarding in all of its parts, check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It will help you progress very fast. It is different than the tutorials on YouTube. It is available as a digital download through my website, braille-skateboarding.com, and it's also available as an iBook on iTunes. Thanks for your support.